As a filmmaker, one of the items I interact with every single day is my camera bag. Having one that fits my needs and doesn't limit productivity is key, and I've learned a lot trying to find the right one. So today I thought I'd show you around my bag and share some tips along the way. Or bags rather, as I have two different ones for different purposes. This is my daily driver. She's small, nimble, and always comes on my back when I'm heading out. It's great for going to meetings or having a quick shoot with some friends while still looking fresh. I keep all my gear secure and in place using a camera insert, and when I'm not using it for gear, the insert simply comes out. The zip pockets on the lid is a game changer. I put smaller items in these and it keeps my bag neat and organized, free of any clutter. I also got a water bottle and a notebook, two things I use all the time. It keeps my body hydrated and my ideas stored in a safe place. And this top pocket is where I keep all my personal items, such as my wallet and passport. Next up is my workhorse, and I use this for the times I need a lot of gear. It doesn't matter if I'm shooting a commercial on a red or traveling across the globe, this guy will likely fit it all. Like my daily driver, I also keep a camera insert in this one, but it's wider, longer and deeper. I really can't stand bags that look like camera bags, and I'm really happy with the way these look and the way they function. Now let's take a look at what these bags store. My main shooter is the good old Sony A7S II, rigged out with a cage, a top handle and a monitor. Onto that I usually stick a Canon 16-35-2.8 for those super wide shots, a Sigma 50mm 1.4 which is great for pretty much anything, a Canon 100mm 2.8 for when I need to get up close and personal, or this Russian thing for when I'm feeling artsy. For scratch audio I use a Rode VideoMic Pro and for better audio I use a Zoom H5. I got a case for all my cards to keep them safe and a couple of Samsung T5 drives for backup and editing on the go. Worrying about power is the worst thing ever, so I got a ton of batteries and a power brick for charging in the field. This tiny light from Aperture is plenty bright and super useful for brightening up parts of the scene. To get a bird's eye view I used a Mavic Pro with a set of Polar Pro ND filters to keep the sun in check. Speaking of the sun, this Atomos Shinobi lets me see what I'm shooting even in direct sunlight and it's such a relief not having to fight the sun. It is said that a team is only as strong as the weakest link, which in my case means dirty lenses. I always keep my front element spotless using these simple tools. For stabilization I've got a couple of options, a Devin Gray M Edition Glide Cam which is my favorite stabilizer and the one that I try to use most of the time, but when the conditions call for it, I whip out the Ronin M. Lighting is such a huge part of making films look up to par, and the 120D Mark II from Aperture is my go-to fixture. For modifying the light I got a 2x for now and a Light Dome Mark II. So that's my entire kit and it might not be for everyone, but it's tailored for my needs and way of working. Never let gear limit your creativity and never let gear hold you back. The cliche phrase gear doesn't matter is true to a certain extent, but having the right gear for the right job and way of working will always matter.